see any migrating groups now? I just see water. Yeah, lots and lots of water. Oh, I see them. Look! If you just let your eyes get used to the water, then you can see the shadows underneath. I see them! Me too! Wow, it's just like the herds on land, only underwater. Mr. Conductor, are those migrating marine reptiles? Yes, if my eyes don't deceive me, it's indeed a pod of polycotylus. Really? Can we get close to them? Sure can. Just hold on to your hats! Oh, um, when you say hold on to your hats, do you mean that literally? Because I, I don't have one and I... Oh. <laughs> oh. Hello there, Paulette. Is that you? Ahoy there, Mr. Conductor. Do you have a few moments to chat with my friends, the Pteranodon family? They're very excited to learn all about Polycotylus. Hi, Paulette. Ahoy, mateys. My daughter Polly and I'd be happy to bend your ears, but we're right in the middle of migrating. Do you mind if we meet you at the atoll off to starboard? The atoll? We get to meet at the atoll? I'd love to go to the atoll. Wait, what's an atoll? And what's starboard? An atoll is a ring-shaped group of coral reef islands with a body of water in the middle. And starboard means to the right. We'll be there in two shakes of a polycotylus's tail. See you there. Is that the atoll? It is, Tiny. And do you see the water inside it? Atoll water is unusually warm, and according to some large aquatic creatures I know, home to some of the tastiest fish you'd ever want to eat. And it's the perfect place to chat with Paulette and Polly. Prepare for a landing! A landing? Like the sound of that. Land ho! <sighs> yes! Huh. I mean, it's kind of nice to be back on the ground, isn't it? <laughs> yes, dear. It is kind of nice. Hey, look! There's Paulette and Polly. Hello! The conductor already introduced you to us, but my name is Tiny Pteranodon. These are my brothers, Buddy and Dawn, my sister Shiny, and our mom and dad. We came all the way from another part of the Cretaceous just to meet the two of you. All the way from another part of the Cretaceous? What do you think I was, born yesterday? What? I... Um, I'm kidding. I was born yesterday. What? That's impossible! You're almost half the size of your mom! <laughs> True, but all polycotylus babies are born that big. Wow, your egg must have been huge. I'd love to have it for my collection, but I bet it wouldn't even fit in a Zeppelin. <laughs> True. <laughs> I didn't come out of an egg. Polycotylus babies are born live in the water from the months. Oh, my. Really? Wow. What other features do polycotylus have? Well, I've only been out in the world for a day now, but I've noticed I move really easily through the water. You do move easily through the water. And I noticed that you and your mom both have a long head, a short neck, and flippers. I have a hypothesis. I bet each part of your body is made to help you swim through the water. You're right, buddy. And since we migrate through the water, we have to be sheep-shaped swimmers. So you do migrate to follow the food? Like T-Rexes do? Yep, just like T-Rexes. Only instead of hunting for meat, we ship out season after season to follow the yummiest fish in the briny deep. That sounds delicious. I can't wait till we finish migrating and get to that yummerific fish. You don't have to wait, Polly. That yummerificness is right here. This atoll is the spot. Yay, so this is your migration destination? Yep, for food that's a sensation. Dinosaur, once upon a time there was a mom. Her name was Mrs. Pteranodon. Sitting on her nest, she heard a scratching and said, Oh boy, my eggs are hatching. One by one, her kids.